Hello everyone, welcome to CMG for You. This is Jeff, and today we have two special guests. This is Gordon. Hola, I'm Gordon. And this is Cynthia. Hola, I'm Cynthia. And we're having a special video today about Mexico versus Spain. You know, there are some words that we use differently, so it would be good for you to know, because you can find confusion and sometimes embarrassment if you try to use these words in the wrong country. These are words that are pretty much daily, words that you can use every day. So, so it will be good for you to know. Number one, if you smoke, this will be very useful. In Mexico, we call a lighter encendedor. But in Spain, people call them. So in Spain, Cynthia, lighter? In Spain, lighter, un mechero. Now, in Mexico, the word mechero, we only use it for that light and, uh, fire thing that you use in the lab, you can see it here. And just as an addition to what uh, Jeff was saying, in the laboratory, the, it's a Bunsen burner he was referring to, that which in Mexican is the same mechero, yeah? Do you know what a Bunsen burner is in, in uh, Spanish? In no. the laboratory, you know, the, the flame. Next word. Here in Mexico, we call a screwdriver desarmador. But in Spain... Screwdriver in Spain? Uh, in Spain, destornillador. Aha. Uh -huh. Here in Mexico, we understand too the word destornillador. So even if you use the needle here, it will be okay. Now for a light bulb, here in Mexico, we call it foco. Light bulb? In Spain, light bulb is una bombilla. Okay, and Jeff mentioned that in Mexico, they say foco. But foco in Spanish? Foco, we've got foco as well, but it's different. Is a spotlight. Foco, yeah, spotlight. It's a spotlight, okay, foco. Okay, the word bombilla does sound weird here. We never say that. Some people might get confused with that word. But, you know, like, people should know. For a paper, for a sheet of paper, like this, in Spanish, we, in Mexico, we call it hoja de papel. A, a sheet of paper. Okay. In Spain, a sheet of paper could be uh, un folio, if it's blank, like for, uh, to put in the printer, that's a folio. Mm -hmm. Or una hoja, una hoja de papel, which is, for example, here. Mm -hmm. Or in a book, mm -hmm. una hoja. Okay, folio sounds really weird here in Mexico. Folio sounds like a number you use for a set of pages, maybe from accountability stuff. So I do not, we don't under, we wouldn't understand the word folio. For a pen, we would call it pluma. And so pen? Pen, uh, in Spanish, un bolígrafo, in Spain. Okay, bolígrafo. Or uh, boli. Or boli. Boli, most people say boli for short, yeah? Uh -huh. Boli, I think we, it sounds weird. We would use the, we would understand the word boligrafo, but not boli by itself. Also, please explain what in Spain means uh, tener pluma. Si. Okay, so what is this expression, tener pluma? Tener pluma is to be a little, to be a little bit um, a feminist. Mm -hmm. Ser un poco afeminado. Here we wouldn't understand that reference. In Mexico we usually call people who we would use the word afeminado, which means like with female manners. Also we would use the word amanerado, which means to have maybe gestures or expressions that look like like a girl's gestures. Okay. And some other words that you use for that? And now that you can say as well, ser un poco trucha. A little bit trucha. Don't trout. know why. See, sí. it's a little and, bit trucha. And the. Um, and this is, this is this is worse though. But you can say un poco amariconado. But when it has the word maricon, it's not that nice. Pejorative. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Here in Mexico, we want to know what's happening in the world. We watch the noticieros, but in Spain. Okay. So, the news, Cynthia. Um, the news in Spain, las noticias, o el telediario. Okay. Which is more common? 
Nothing. Both the both about the same. Pon eh? las noticias. Pon el telediario. Okay. But okay. don't watch them. <laughs> They're just depressing. Yeah. <laughs> Telediarios really sounds foreigner. We would never say that or hear that. Now, here in Mexico, we call on the cell phone. We, we call on the cell phone. It happens between Mexico and Spain. It happens like in. Great Britain and in the UK and in, in the United States. In Mexico we call cell phones celulares, but in Spain... Okay, and so if uh, a cell phone or a mobile phone? A mobile phone in Spain is un móvil, un teléfono móvil. Hmm. So it should be easy for you to remember. Uh, Mexico, cell phone, celular. Spain, mobile, móvil. Now, the computer is called here computadora, it should be pretty easy, but in Spain... Computer. Computer is, in Spain, is un ordenador. Hmm. O un portátil, if it's a laptop. Okay, yeah. And the way that um, I used to remember computer, ordenador, is because it would put in, in order the information, so that was how I used to remember, yeah. That's the idea. That's the idea. Sometimes. <laughs> Not always. <laughs> when we are just a bit chilly at night, we cover with a sabana, a blanket. But in Spain... Okay, so Jeff's talking about this, um, a blanket that you pull over yourself to keep yourself warm. So in Spain, what's that? A blanket in Spain is una manta. Una manta. Una manta. And so, but you have the word sabana, no? Sabana is a sheet, which is thinner. That you have on the, under the blanket on the bed, yes? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. The thin one, typically white. Mm -hmm. And then manta is thicker. When we want to go somewhere else on the city using the public transportation, we would use the camión or bus. But in Spain, people take the... And then for a bus in Spain? El autobús. Autobús. Mm -hmm. Now, you know handcuffs? In Mexico, we call them mancuernillas. But in Spain, people call them... Jeff is... Uh, slight confusion about this. Jeff was doing this. Now, I, I assumed that he meant um, cuff links, okay? But he said the word handcuffs. So we're going to cover both, okay? okay? So first of all, so cuff links... Oh, oh cuff, cuff links. links. Those are gemelos. When you wear a suit, un traje, un hombre, lleva gemelos. Okay, yeah, so in a suit, in, in the shirt, um, cuffs. Mm -hmm. So they are... Twins, they call them the twins, yes? Twins. Gemelos. And then handcuffs that the police would put on you. Vale. Eh, en España, in Spain, esposas. Wives. Esposas. Wives. <laughs> Why would they use the word wives for, Why not? To, to keep you imprisoned? Yeah, exactly. Why not? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, gemelos here in Mexico sounds like twins, so we wouldn't understand that. Now, to drink, when, you, when you're to drink soda at the cinema or somewhere else, you use, it, you use a, a straw. In Spanish we call it popote, which is an odd little word. But in Spain... A straw. Straw is, uh, in Spain, is una pajita. Pajita. And where does that come from? Paja? A straw is, una, is paja. Paja, straw. straw. In the countryside. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. maybe it comes from that. Yeah. These are, in Mexico, are lentes, glasses, but in Spain they're called... Glasses? Uh, glasses, in, in Spain, gafas, las gafas. Gafas. Mm. And I don't know if you know this, but in the UK, in English, a gaffer is a boss. So I used to always remember the bosses wear the glasses. Yeah. Mm. The gaffers wear, but I don't think in the US they have gaffer. the word gaffer. 